and it, it takes a lot to move the Lakers down, but today it happened, and that's because of Ben Simmons. And here's why. It's been 288 days since this happened. Ben Simmons passed up on a wide open dunk and the Sixers eventually lost to the Hawks in game seven, seven of the Eastern Conference semifinals. It was the last time Simmons mm. played in an NBA game. 10 months later, Simmons is a net and it seems like his debut gets farther and farther away. So here's head coach Steve Nash earlier today. Do you think he'll miss the playing game? Ben? Yeah. Yeah, I would say likely now he isn't even, uh, he's not running. So yeah, I don't, I don't see him. Uh, I would be shocked. But I think in this situation, you know, we got to put his health and safety first and make sure that we're certain he's ready to, to play and contribute. And the other part is he hasn't played basketball. So, you know, what, what kind of bend you get when he hasn't been in an NBA game for, you know, nine, ten months. We know what he brings to the floor. Like my main concern is just getting his back healthy so he has a, a good rest of, rest of his career. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he's out there soon. All right, so just to reiterate what Steve Nash said there, he said that Ben Simmons isn't running yet, so it's more than likely he's going to miss the play-in tournament. But, Ramona, you've covered this yeah. as closely as, as humanly possible, right? Is it still possible we're going to see him in the playoffs? What's the timeline here? Yeah, there's, it's still possible. I mean, if they make a deep run, it's still possible. The issue, though, is that he has to ramp up, and this is when he flared up his back injury the last time so you have to recondition you have to get back in basketball shape that's a long process here he's not even running and the way you break this down uh, the way you break that down is when you have an epidural they tell you to rest for a couple of weeks don't do anything give it a chance to work so he rested that was a couple of weeks ago now he's going to ramp back up now I was I checked in with somebody very close to Ben Simmons today I said is it would you really bring him back in the playoffs after having not played for 10 months with all that pressure and everything on the line and the answer I got was yeah like the, the answer I, I know I know Well, I mean what 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 choice do they well they, what choice do they have one and number two and, and this is I thought well, a pretty good point if he just plays the role they need, which is, by the way, defense, which he can do. Which is an important role for this Nets team. Right. What we've seen. Then that's all the pressure that's on him. And the free throw pressure, which is always going to be there for the rest of his career, it's not going to change now versus a year from now. So I think that's the way they're looking at it. Right. But again, he has to go through an entire ramp up process, make it all the way through that ramp up process, which he didn't do last time, and then get himself mentally ready to play again. That feels like a longer process to me than... A right. week or two. Here. Okay, I, I'm going to make this really simple. Yeah. Richard, big deal, little deal, no deal that he's out through the play-in tournament definitively. Okay, Wh Okay. just back to Ramona really quickly. You said that there is a chance. What percentage chance would you put that at? What percentage? That he plays at all this year? Yeah. 10%. 10%. You know, like, okay. I mean, so like, come on, know, let's be real. No, but I'd say hypothetically. Like if they make a long run. run and then he's hypothetic, it. Hypothetically, we've talked about this yeah. since. And by the way, that's my opinion, not somebody. No, 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 but but I'm, saying, like, come on, I'm just saying hypothetically, yeah. given the information, you're, yeah. you're well connected. So when I look at this, this is a big deal. Is it a little deal? We are in professional sports. At the end of the day, yep. professional sports is not for everyone. And I say this respectfully. If you're injured, right, or if your body can't keep up with that, we're not going to – the NBA is not going to change. If Ben Simmons, you know, is struggling with mental health issues, like that's part of professional sports. You know what the bag is when you show up. They pay you a tremendous amount of money uh, to make sure that you can handle the tremendous amount of stress and pressure that comes with it. And then they hope that your body can keep up with that. Do I think it's a big deal? I think that, one, it's his mental health. That was something that needed to be addressed. And, two, it was his physical health that's now needing to be addressed. But at the end of the day, like free throws, whatever, he's got to get himself back on the court, whether it's now or this summer. Right, all right. So where Ben Simmons will definitely help, right, is on the defensive side, which is a Next season. huge... <laughs> It's Which I think was spot always the plan, by the way, but go ahead. Right, but it's the clear need. After dropping a career-high 55 on Saturday night, Kevin Durant addressed their defensive woes. You know, it's the detail stuff we got to just lock in on and do better, you know. Shots are going to fall, you know. It's a make or miss league, but, you know, we be having guys bottled up, great defense, and we end up filing right at the end. And, you know, that's just the – that's – if we want to continue to be – if we want to grow and be a better team, then that type of stuff can't happen. Just bad basketball, you know, to give them points like that, you know, after playing good defense, and then boom, we reach. Like, we just got to be better in that area. 
You know, Richard, I know the Nets have a sweet spot on your heart, but you yeah. know if you want to win a championship, the number one thing you have to do is play defense, and this is one area where the Brooklyn Nets really struggle. So let's roll the tape quick, 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 baby. Let's roll the tape. Let's do it. You want to take us through this? I'll take you through. So look, James Johnson's pointing and talking, right? So now the worst thing you can do is point and not talk. This is what they're doing. This is the Detroit Pistons, <laughs> one of the worst offensive teams in the entire league. They, they, they're not horrible. These they're days, one of the yes. worst offensive teams in the league. Now, again, point and switching and talking. You saw a simple mess up right there. Simple exchange. Now, here, you got, St you got Seth Curry guarding Giannis. That's not good. And no and, help defense. And no help defense. One, Seth needs to give him space, and then you need to come over and be able to help, but that has to be communicated. Now, again, Drummond. Watch this Look closeout. at this. You can't leave the shooter who bought. Mind you, look. Top 10 to three points made. And I look, think look, he's look, number look, two there, in points no right And look, look. I wish we could rewind this because it was like, is anyone going to run out? Is anyone going to run out? This is the thing. We know that this team has the amount of talent that any team would dream of. But they are not a cohesive unit. Is there time for them to kind of get better now that Kyrie's playing full time? Yes. That's the one thing that would give you optimism. But ultimately, but their defense is far. Defense is where Ben Simmons would help. But we all know the likelihood of that is not high. The reality is the Brooklyn Nets, they have the 20th worst defense and their 21st at fouls. And let's talk about that game versus the Hawks. The Hawks had 49 free throws. So if you can't play defense, if you can't play defense, then you have to be able to be able to get the rebound in four shots without fouling. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.